Hey guys, today I'm going to be trying out some new brow products. I'm really excited. I haven't tried out new brow products in like so long. Um, but recently, well, I feel like now it's not really recent, but you know what makeup is like. It's still recent to me, okay? Because anyway, whatever. P. Louise came out with her brow products. Um, gosh, I don't even know how long ago now. Maybe like a, a month, two months. I don't know. It's still recent to me, okay? I still consider that recent. Um, and today we're going to be trying them out. I'm so excited. I'm I'm so upset because I'm going to have... Oh wait, no. No, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not upset. Okay, uh, now I need to tell this story. I have the Fenty, Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. And it's in the shade Michinato or something. I don't know how to say it. And I thought this was in the same shade, but it's not. This one's in Mochaccino, which I can pronounce, so that's good. Anyway, I have two brow products here. First, we have the P. Louise Oso Brow to Full Eyebrow Pencil. Um, and this one's in the shade Mochaccino. And then we also have the Oso Brow to Full Eyebrow Pencil. So, let's get started. The packaging of this is amazing. It came in the cute little coffee cup. Um, and I just love her packaging. I think just all the little details, they're just so cute. Anyway. Let's try this out. So you do get these as a duo. Um, and this is how the actual pencil looks. Um, it doesn't, instead of having the shade on it, it just has a little M, which I think is kind of cute. Except for if you forget what the M means, but still, anyway. It's got one of these tiny little plastic things on it. I'm not going to be able to get that off. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna have to get my tweezers. Oh my god, it's so tiny. When I'm gonna be editing this, this is gonna take like five minutes. Come on. Almost. I feel like this wasn't necessary. It was already in the box. Like it's like it's fine, P. Louise. Like just let it go. Leave it in the box and be done with it, you know? <sighs> nah, I get it. But still. <laughs> halfway there got it now right this brow pencil actually looks tiny like I feel like this is gonna take me forever to fill my brows in so typically I don't use a brow pencil I use a pomade um, and recently what I've been doing is using a pomade and then using a brow pencil to fill in like the sparse areas and also do the front of my brows but anyway this is how the brow pencil looks it's so beautiful it's so cute and we're just gonna get started. Hopefully the shade's gonna be okay. This is the tiniest brow pencil I've ever seen. Perfect for doing hair like strokes. But it's gonna take a while to fill my brows in. But anyway, let's go. It's going on very easily, which I love. I hate when you have to push down a brow pencil when it takes like it like you know scars your eyebrow because that's how hard you have to push on it so um straight off the bat i'm a fan i feel like p louise products are just done so well like just so much thought and time and effort goes into them i don't think i've ever tried a p louise product that i have not liked it has not been like top notch quality you know Surprisingly, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. I feel like this would be perfect for like a kind of more natural brow day. I really like the formula of this. All right, so now I'm just gonna do some hair like strokes at the front. And then I usually just blend them through, you know? Okay, so this is the first brow. I do think it looks really nice. I do like that. I'm gonna quickly go do the other one um, and then we'll try out the eyebrow gel. I'm not exactly sure what happened here, but we can fix up with concealer. Anyway, it's not the product's fault, it's just me. For some reason, every time I've been doing my brows lately, I've been butchering this eyebrow. Don't know why. But anyway, oh my God, this scares me. This is a very big brush for an eyebrow gel. But anyway, we're gonna try it. I'm excited. So, I'm just gonna put this like on the ends, kind of. So, 
so I will put this on before I carve my brows out so then I can clean it up if I make any mistakes. Like that one. <laughs> no, I really quite like this. I feel like this is a really quick and easy way to like kind of fill your brows in if you know what I mean. I do really like that. I'm really impressed with both of these products. I can definitely see them making their way into my brow routine. Okay, that's the brow gel. Which I quite like. I do quite like that. Let's carve my brows out now. I'm just gonna use what I always use, my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I don't think that will ever change. But before I do that, I'm just gonna quickly wipe this brow gel off. Because otherwise it'll mix with it, if you know what I mean. Anyway. Carve my brows out. I just use like a pretty, like a, just a flat brush. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill one, the JH43. But literally, I'll use any brush that looks like this. Anything that's flat. <laughs> I just start by carving mine out underneath. concealer today but it's all good so that's how the kind of finished brows looking I will also use a clear brow gel as well just to set them in place I feel like that gel wasn't really like setting it was more for like color if you know what I mean and I like my brows to be locked down I don't know why it's just a nice feeling sometimes this brow just does not cooperate this one just really annoys me sometimes. Anyway, okay. So that's that. Now we're gonna put on some brow gel, some clear brow gel. I just used the Anastasia clear brow gel. Honestly, I don't know how this isn't empty yet. I've had this for like two years. But it, there's still stuff in it, so I just keep using it. I kind of feel like it's like never gonna run out. I don't know, but anyway. So I just use that to really keep them in place. So this is how my brows are looking as of now with like no other makeup on. Um, so yeah, I do really like the stuff we use, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away, finish my, off my makeup because I feel like you can't really judge a brow until you've got your whole face of makeup on and then it's all together. Um, and then I'll tell you my final thoughts at the very end. But yeah, I'll be back. Okay, here is my full face of makeup done and you can obviously see the brows and I really like them honestly I'm gonna give you like a bit of a close up I just really like the way they look I think they look so nice let's just get a little price up of how much the P. Louise thing costs P. Louise in my opinion is very fairly priced I think for what it actually is for the quality the amount of product and stuff you get I feel like they do price are quite fairly so the little oh so brow to full set retails for 37 dollars, which i think is a really good price um at the moment i'm using like the anastasia brow is for my um eyebrow pencil so we'll see how much that one retails for so we can compare so just for the brow is pencil by itself it's 43 dollars. so it's six dollars more expensive but it also doesn't come with a brow gel you know what i mean so it's like two things for 37 dollars or one thing for 46 i mean 43. you guys can be the judge of that but obviously i feel like it's pretty fairly priced um i really really love this um this brow gel has 14.5 grams of product my anastasia one has Me search up on the website because it won't show me right now it's all rubbed off um and just again for price comparison the anastasia clear brow gel is 39 dollars so to buy both the brow gel and the brow pencil let's work that out 
I know I could probably work this out off the top of my head, but I'm too lazy to do that right now. $82, whereas the Peel Away's Joy is $37, so. Um, and this brow gel, why won't it tell me how much is in there? I thought they usually tell you, like, I want to know how much is in the product! Come on. I thought they, like, do tell you that. Let me see if I have another gel. Well, for reference, the Benefit Gimme Brow has three grams, so this has, like, four times as much. <laughs> so there you go. I feel like it's just really fairly priced. You get heaps of product and it's an amazing product. So yeah, uh, let me know if you've tried it out in the comments. I want to know what you guys think, but I'm really impressed. I'll definitely be adding these into my brow routine for sure. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're wondering what my makeup is, by the way, there is a Colourpop collection video coming. So keep your eye out. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!